harp has 47 strings and seven pedals, and our next guest began playing when she was just five years old. It's so beautiful. I want to just like close my eyes mm -hmm. and drift away. She is a former member of the Houston Symphony, and now she is back in town for a big concert happening in Houston this weekend. Megan Conley, welcome to Houston Life. We don't want to interrupt no, this beautiful sound. No, keep going, sound. keep going. I, I will play afterwards, that's <laughs> totally fine. Listen, yeah. we're so honored to have you, Megan, in our studio today. Thank you, you started playing the harp at just five years old. Yes. You were telling Candace and me during the commercial break that as a kid, they're much smaller. They are, yeah, that you start on a little Irish harp that does, it doesn't have pedals like this harp, it just has levers. And my parents were like, yeah, we can do this, that's great. And then as I got older, got more serious, the harp's got bigger, we had to get a van, um, yeah, wow. so it becomes more of a commitment, but by then we were all hooked. Let me ask you, kids start <laughs> playing clarinets and flutes and yeah. saxophones, you chose the harp, yeah. what made you choose that? My That's dad awesome. is, is a musician, so Danny Levin, he's in Austin, and I have an older sister, Shana, that was already taking piano lessons, so then I was next in line for music lessons, and he met my harp teacher, Delane Fedson, and she said, I want to start teaching, send me one of your kids, and since my sister already was taking piano, I went... And I remember my first lesson, uh -huh. and I saw the harp, and it, you know, it's just this magical, oh, wow. sort of unusual thing. Yeah, and I, I loved it from the beginning, so. It's captivating. Yeah. And there are very few people who actually have the commitment uh, to, to play the harp. You've played all over the place. Brooklyn-based chamber orchestra, The Knights. Yeah. You've performed with, with the New York City Ballet. I have. Very prestigious. Yes. Toured with the Irish Chamber Orchestra in 2013. And also, oh my gosh, the Fantastics on Broadway. Yeah. I love the Fantastics. That's just harp and piano, so you're playing the whole time. And the harp actually has an acting role. There's a point where they say, oh, we have to cut the budget so the musicians can go home. And I get up and like walk off the stage. <laughs> and I always got a laugh, and it was like the best part of the show for me. Awesome. <laughs> on top of that, you've been yeah. on some Grammy Award-winning albums. Yeah, well, so since my dad is a musician, and I grew up in Austin, which is a big music town, I grew up, even as a kid, playing with Austin musicians, and I played on an album, yeah, Low Super 7, when I was like 12, I don't remember, young. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember, yeah, I was practicing in my room, my dad came in and was like, you won a Grammy, because the album won a Grammy. Well, I don't have this no, statue, no, you but it was great for my college credit. resumes, yeah. <laughs> also, unexpectedly, you've taken your harp to the beach, you have played on the beach, oh. you are, a passionate uh, fan of conservation. Yes. And in 2021, you founded the Ocean Music Action. Yes. And this essentially is to merge your two passions. Explain to us the mission of your organization. Absolutely, thank you. So I did, I became really passionate about conservation and learning, especially about water pollution. I feel like I have a friend here and she said, don't mess with the water. Like it's a very basic thing that water is something that we all need, that we all we all share ownership of the water. So when I learned about ocean pollution, you know, it's like we've heard that thing, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050, and I just yeah. felt like it doesn't have to be. Like, we can step up and do something about this. And being a musician, this is my voice, and I feel like music has the, po the power to inspire people to take action. So we do concert, o Ocean Music Action, the organization, we present concerts, and then we pair each concert with a conservation action. So the audience and the musicians join together. We just did one in Hawaii. We did a concert, and then we went out and pulled invasive limu, which is seaweed, from a bay. and it, it's wonderful because it's music and volunteering yeah. and you know creating a better world for our children. A better world for our children. Inspirational and impactful. <laughs> we love that. And you have a performance coming up in Houston yes. as well. Can you tell yes. us about that? Absolutely. So I'm so honored to be playing. It's Osvaldo Goliath's Falling Out of Time. And this is a work that has been going on for many years. There have been many performances of it. Um, my husband, Sean Conley, who plays with the Silk Road Ensemble, was part of it from the beginning. So I've heard about it, I've heard the recording, and then for this performance, the pipa player, Wu Man, was not able to make the tour. So they, with this piece, Goliath, the composer, doesn't compose for instruments, he composes for people. And so when Wu Man couldn't play, they didn't just look for another pipa player, they were like, we need someone who can fill this role and this, the color world. And so they found me and I sent an audition tape and they said, okay, we want you to do it. But this is the first time this work is being performed with harp. And it is falls under this umbrella of what I'm trying to do now, which is music that is beautiful but has a deeper meaning. And it's really 
the story behind this piece, um, it's really beautiful music, but also really powerful in a way that sort of pushes us out of our comfort zone, but really gives us a chance, both the, the musicians and the audience, to come together for a greater purpose. It's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like working on it, I've already changed. And I feel mm. like everyone who's able to join us, it's just going to be such a powerful experience. And once in a lifetime. So we have the info on your screen there, <laughs> April 15th and 16th at Hobby Center for the Performing Arts at Zilka Hall. So now it is time to see Megan Conley in action playing the harp, performing Kohala Sings. Megan, take it away for us.